Hi, Dan here with another tip of the week. Today what I want to talk about is something, a concept in painting that I think we'd all like to focus on. We have a tendency to lose track of it. What I'm talking about is I think we really love the part of art that is visual poetry. So how do you solve that? I mean, if you were to sit down and you were going to write it down on a piece of paper, like you had something in front of you, a beautiful model or a a beautiful still life or a beautiful outdoor scene and you wanted to paint it you know what concepts come to your mind is it romantic is it dramatic is it bright what is it that you want to convey and I think if you were to write those down, actually physically write them down and put little notes or post-its on your easel so that you don't forget once you get into the battle you know the the heat of the painting so to speak so you remind yourself to stay focused with what your real ideology for the painting is. I really think it will really help. And when you first sit down to paint a painting, a lot of times we lose sight of this visual poetry and we start to focus in on the mechanics of it. And, you know, without a doubt, the mechanics of it all have to be learned and we have to sort of like pay our dues to learn how to make brush strokes, how to mix colors, how to get everything to look the way we want. But there's no reason we have to do that and sacrifice the visual poetry of our painting. And what I mean by that is, you know, a painting can look a whole lot of different ways, but they can look romantic. They can look loose. They can look bright, emotional, dramatic, symbolic. Now, how do we find out what is romantic and what is dramatic and loose and emotional and symbolic? Well, what I suggest you do is go clip art. So cut up magazines that, and take all your favorite paintings and make piles. This pile is, I like it because it's romantic. I like this pile because it's dramatic. I like this pile because it's symbolic to me somehow. Or I like the brightness of this. You know, and some of them go into a lot of different piles. And then you try to analyze what makes it look like that to you. Like, for example, romantic will have a tendency to have looser, softer edges. Dramatic will have usually tighter edges and have more play of values. So just go through your art collection, your pictures that you have on your computer, and magazines and maybe pictures you've cut out of magazines, and see what you like. And try to think about it in those terms instead of brush strokes and values and color and edges for a moment. Now, of course, we realize you can only paint with color value edges, paint application, and drawing. But it doesn't hurt to think about these other elements. And somehow, they'll work their way into your paintings. Now, sorry, I didn't really have a whole lot of activity with my mouse and going over here. This is more of a lecture or a talk than it is a um, showing you things. But I picked this one because I liked the poetic feel of this painting. And that's why I selected this painting to show you. All right. Well, that's Dan Edmondson with another tip of the week. I hope that helps. I mean, I don't realize it's nothing concrete, but try it. In your next painting, try to focus in on what the emotional element is that you're trying to convey rather than the technical, what do I say, the technical information you're trying to translate or copy. Okay? Fun stuff.